a dangerous cocktail of gangsters and terror operatives involved in murders, kidnapping, robbery and other crimes was something of the kind that existed when Mumbai's underworld ruled the city. But similar and more dangerous gangs are thriving in Punjab and its neighbouring states like Rajasthan and Delhi. The broad daylight murder of singer and Congress leader Sidhu Muzwala has put the spotlight on such gangs and their inner rivalries. Most of these gangs have Canadian links with their members operating out of Canada and other foreign countries. Their activities include arms and drug peddling, terror operations, extortions, kidnapping and murders. Not just this, many gangsters continue to operate out of jail too, like Lawrence Bishnoi, who is currently lodged in Tihar Jail in Delhi. Incidentally, Lawrence Bishnoi is the main operator of the Bishnoi gang, which has claimed responsibility for Muzwala's murder. Goldie Brar, an active member of the same gang, had taken responsibility for the murder in a social media post. He had claimed that the murder was in retaliation to Youth Akali Dal leader Vicky Midukhera's killing that took place last year. The nature of the open acknowledgement of the murder by the Bishnoi gang has made the entire country sit up and take notice of the existence of such gangs. The disturbing fact is that close to 70 such gangs, both big and small, are operating in Punjab. Numerous arrests and police encounters have not reigned in such gangs. Before Muspala's murder, the PRG attack at Punjab Police's intelligence headquarters in Mohali and the killing of an international Kabaddi player in Nakodar were some of the high-profile incidents that made headlines. The most prominent among these are the gangs of Lawrence Pishnoi, Bambiha Gang and a gang led by Bhagwan Puriya. The attack on Mohali's intelligence headquarters was planned by the Babar Axis International with Pakistan-based ISI's aid. Police believe that many of these gangs have high stakes in Kabaddi tournaments in the state. Some of the most dreaded gangsters are Lawrence Pishnoi, Goldie Brar, Vicky Gounder, Dilpreet Singh Dehen, Sukha Kehlon and Lucky Patial. Police have revealed that 40 such gangsters are on the most wanted list of the state's anti-gangster task force. Bishnoi, the son of a well-off agriculturalist and a former student leader at Punjab University, was arrested in 2018. He is on the radar of both Punjab and Maharashtra police after Salman Khan allegedly received death threat letters with Bishnoi's name on it. The Bishnoi gang is involved in extortion and trade of illegal arms. Bambiha gang, with a significant presence in the state's Malwa region, is currently led by Armenia-based Gaurav Patial, whose aide Sukhpreet Singh Buddha was deported from Armenia and arrested by the Punjab police in November 2019. A gang led by Jaggu Bhagwan Puriya is in operation in the Majha region of Punjab. Bhagwan Puriya faces several criminal cases and is currently lodged in Tihar jail. These gangs continue to particularly torment Punjabi singers and kabaddi players. Punjabi music industry is the number one music industry in India, which is why extorting money out of such singers is an easy option for such gangsters. Singers like Mankirth Alok and Parmish Varma have received death threats in the past. Since kabaddi is a popular sport in Punjab, kabaddi players continue to be on the radar of these criminal gangs. The murder of prominent singers and kabaddi players in Punjab have made the security situation look increasingly worrisome in the border state. CM Bhagwant Maan has formed an anti-gangster task force headed by an additional Director General Rank Police Officer to tackle this problem. Punjab's growing gang culture will require special attention from the Punjab government in the future and will also prove to be the ultimate test of governance for the Bhagwant Maan-led AAP government in Punjab a federal report.